he'll tell you something that's funny. Yeah. And Larry David is the same way. That's how he directs. He'll just tell you something that's so funny. Uh, I just watched Larry David direct when I did. Uh, Seinfeld? I just w would watch him direct. I would just show up just to watch Larry David. He doesn't direct. He doesn't direct the show. He stands off to the side and he just watches, you know, kind of with his arms across his chest. He just watches very silently. And then every once in a while, he doesn't do it much, but he'll just call over one of his major actors, you know, like Jerry or, you know, uh, Costanza. And say, hey, uh, come here, come here. And he'll go. And again, he takes you off to the side, you know, and he'll just. And I was always, I would always watch him. And inevitably, he did this three times while I was there to three different people. He'll take you aside. Yeah, watch the scene. And you're watching the scene. Okay. And he'll say, hey, come here. And you're like, Costanza, hey, come here. And I always wondered what the hell he said. But each time, the actor would go back into the scene, and it would be funnier. It would just be funnier. I don't know what he told the guy. And I was thinking, why doesn't he tell me something? I want to be funny like that. <laughs> you were know, I mean, great in that. And me, you know, why didn't he tell me? And finally, he did. He did. And and my character, the key to my character, which was kind of, I didn't improvise anything. It was on the page. But I kind of thought he's kind of passive aggressive. Uh, <clears throat> it was, a, you know, the Kramer guy, uh, Tom Pepper. Uh, I was kind of, I'm getting from the vibes from the page. I'm getting, uh, he's kind of passive aggressive. He's either angry or he's nothing. He's just one or the other. So I just, and um, I said nothing. And I got nothing from actually zero from Buster Keaton. Buster Keaton grew up in show business in vaudeville and that, that face that he does, that stone face of Buster yes. Keaton was called zero because his father, he had a, he was a trained tumbler, a tumbler. What he would do is his father would pick him up by the seat of the pants. He had, you know, special pants where he could pick him up by the belt and he was like five. So it was easy to pick him up. And at certain stages, he would come out. His father and his mother had an act. And at one point, this five-year-old would come out. And his father, in some way, would say, get off the stage. And he wouldn't, the five-year-old. So he would pick him up by the back of his belt, you know, so the kid was hanging like this. And he would throw him against the backdrop, you know, this canvas, the, you know, the, the in yeah. one well, if you hit that, it, it it goes like that, you know, and then what happens is you slide down it because it goes, you know, like that. So he never got hurt. But what his father would say to him, okay, kid, zero. And what zero meant was totally relax, go go neutral so that you're, you're, you're floppy when you hit that. So it's not a hard hit. You're just floppy. So you go, zero. Boom and throw it, and he goes, and it would of course bring down the house. And oh my god, and then the kid would just get up and skip off, you know. <laughs> and, oh wow, hey, that's really great. So I said, okay, so that's where I got zero from. So it was in my mind, and, I, and I, there's a reason for it. So okay, he comes up to me and he says, Larry David, he's, he calls me over and he says, Oh, it's my turn, he's gonna give me something funny. So he says, Um, <laughs> as opposed to the other two, this is what he said. I know what you're doing. And I go, oh, really? And he said it with such a, um, an, an accuse, with an attitude. <laughs> I like, can not that. Anybody. Like, like that. Now, I know what you're doing. No, no, no. It was the, no. He said, this is what got me angry. He said, I know what you're trying to do. It was the trying, the word trying. And it just got me pissed off. And I don't care who he is, I'm going to get pissed off back at him. And I said, oh, really? What am I trying to do? And he said, you're trying to do nothing. And it just blew my mind because that's exactly what I was trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> and I wasn't ready for that. So I go, oh, wow. Yeah, that's right. That's what I was trying to do. Yeah. He says, well, you're doing something. And he walked away. And I thought, best direction I ever got. Best direction, man. He just... That's amazing. Yes, it, it, because he didn't tell me what to do. 
He, he just told me what I was doing and it was wrong. But he didn't say it was wrong. He just said, well, you're doing something. And it just keyed me right into and I got that's how I got Tom Pepper. Just just from that. So, ah. So that's when he said, you know, uh, uh, I don't uh, or any other dried fruit that that sentence, that little speech came from Larry David's telling me you're doing something. I, you know, I just it just focused me on the on the characters. I know that that's my relationship to directors is is great and yet it's weird. 